Hello my soccer universe and for another African collection video I'm gonna show you a jersey from a team that unfortunately has not qualified for this year's AFCON which is a shame because I actually think it's one of the countries that always should be there and it's of course South Africa that I needed to get a South Africa jersey was unavoidable because I wanna get a jersey from every country and potentially every city in at least in Europe but you know uh, if I go outside uh, at least every country that I've been to and I've been to South Africa a long time ago and you know I always had an eye on a South Africa shirt anyway now that it became this one is kind of a, a weird story I mean ideally I would have gotten the one from 96 that they won the AFCON in or the one that the world at the 98 world cup because uh especially either one of these are really really nice and i remember the away jersey when i was in 98 in australia i could have bought there and then i decided i go with the 96 97 milan away shirt which to this day i'm a little bit i know that uh, my aunt who was with me kind of pulled me more towards that one than to the South Africa shirt but I always a little bit regretted that because that is a jersey that is a rather hard to find at least for a reasonable price so back then it was uh, at a normal uh, price but uh, unfortunately South Africa got away from the um, uh, crazy color palette and then switched by 2002 uh, I think in 2002 at the World Cup they played in yellow as far as I know but at least uh, thereafter they then switched to yellow at home which is you know is nice to be honest but it's not as outstanding as those early jerseys have been and now it was always for me yeah okay uh, it's a uh, yellow jersey is more attainable and then it was which one do i get and of course the 2010 one where they were at home was uh, an easy to reach target however what i didn't like is that uh, those jerseys were typically sold without uh, this protea uh, emblem on the left breast which to me is something if this is empty it doesn't look right uh, or having a logo on the right side is just weird so uh, and, and and I know the players wore it during, during, during the World Cup but, but they couldn't get it the same thing was I think also, also true for and I, I actually really was considering that one the 2009 South Africa home trip where they were at the uh, where they hosted the Confederations Cup which has is yellow with this uh, big green swirl so, but the one that I, I could get, and this was at the AFCON 2019, I was stocking up on some African churches, you know, classic football shirts. I could get this one. And I have to say, I, re I really liked it. Yes, it is plain. I was, uh, it's the only one that I have for, of this template with, the, with this um, band here around the collar. But I, I actually, actually think it's, it's, it's really nice. It had the Protea, which was for me kind of the must-have item. I have to say, this one looks a whole lot like the FIFA logo, the old FIFA logo. So uh, I always found this interesting. But yeah, I do like both of them here. But what really intrigued me is, of course, this rainbow pattern, because South Africa uh, calls itself the Rainbow Nation. So I have to say, I really like this pattern on the bottom. Yes, it is subtle, but it's a really nice one. Um, the problem is that yeah, this 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 uh, this is Afcon. This jersey uh, will not be used much because South Africa didn't qualify and also for for the World Cup. It's also a very interesting jersey to wear because it has it's heavily ventilated here on the back, so the entire back has kind of uh, is ventilated. So I do like this. It has the South African flag, which is one of the most uh, unique and actually nicest flags I would have to say. It's a rainbow flag, ra rainbow nation. I really like it. I also like how this, I mean, it's unusual, but I really like how this all ties here together with the point going, going down. So it's a really, really nice shirt. Um, yes, it is not as crazy as the 90s shirts were, but I think for a South Africa shirt, especially with the Protea flower, um, uh, it's a really, really nice one. Of course, I do have another South Africa shirt, but it's the Springboks, the, uh, the rugby team from 2003. But yeah. Uh, that's different sports. So yeah, this is my South Africa shirt. Sleeve cuffs are uh, uh, rather bare. I think this was worn at the AFCON in 2012. And not sure if it was worn in 2013, where they actually hosted the, F the tournament. Not 100% uh, about that, but maybe you can drop 
a line below if you know. Yeah, I think it's a really nice shirt and it's too bad because I have now only one yellow shirt. Uh, would be nice to have a little bit more balance there. In any case, please let, let me know what you think about this shirt with all the nice rainbows on the bottom uh, here. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm going to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.